This video demonstrates how easy it is to create a gravity irrigation system using a simple container and Irrigrade Dripper Line. Irrigrade Dripper Line has been proven in use for over five years in tens of thousands of installations in Australia. It is now manufactured and available for sale here in North America. We start by drilling a three quarter inch hole in the side of the container. Any strong container can be used, for example a 55 gallon barrel or as seen here, a strong mobile trash can. Clean off any burrs or excess plastic and insert the rubber grommet. The rubber grommet is a tight fit. Work it around until the flange of the grommet is hard up against the side of the container. Then insert the 3 quarter inch takeoff fitting into the grommet. Again this is a tight fit and is easier to insert by rocking the takeoff backwards and forwards while applying downwards pressure. Then fit the 3 quarter inch polytube and valve assembly to the takeoff fitting. We recommend closing the valve at this stage. An inline filter is then connected to the valve. Irrigray only requires 40 mesh filtration. This is less than a third of the filtration required by standard dripper lines. This means that you won't have to clean the filters too often, whereas other dripper lines you would be there very frequently cleaning the filters. Normally dripper lines would be laid on top of the soil in the garden bed areas. However, in this video we have laid an irrigation system on the gravel pathways, so the drip rates and even irrigation can be easily seen. Within a few minutes of irrigating, overall at one gallon per minute for the entire system, defined circles of moisture can be seen at each emitter. Importantly, each circle is the same size across the entire network. This shows how the water is irrigated evenly, irrespective of the distance from the water container. Our irrigation layout was designed to show how different areas can be irrigated by simply connecting a dripper line to the main 3 quarter inch polytube. You can position the dripper lines in any desired location in your garden. Keep in mind when viewing this video that we are dripping water onto extremely dry crushed gravel. Crushed gravel typically repels water if it hasn't had any irrigation for the past few days. In a normal garden setting the circles will be wider as the soil is more receptive to the water. We can now see after 10 minutes that the patterns have joined up. Again this is partly the fact that the soil is so dry it's repelling the water. However it still shows how even the irrigation is. No matter how far we are from the container, a steady consistent amount of water is being irrigated at each emitter location. As with any garden, irrigation system, it is important to use mulch to minimise surface evaporation. Mulch is essential if using this for grey water irrigation as it minimises direct human contact with the grey water. 